Hello everyone and welcome to Bays Mountain Park. My name is Megan Crager and I am the senior naturalist here at the park. And today we're gonna go on a nice journey about what to expect for the June 1st reopening of Bays Mountain Park. And so this particular journey will help you understand a little bit how to get ready in order to come to the park and what to expect. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the interesting uh, features that we're gonna be uh, doing when you come in June 1st. We are standing next to the gatehouse and when you come in starting June 1st, we do ask that you please go ahead and stop by the gatehouse here. While at the gatehouse, you'll be greeted with a smile by our gatehouse attendants and you will receive a, receive a park map with a bright colored sheet on the inside. This particular sheet will give you some information about what your next steps will be when you go ahead and go on up into the park area. Also too, there are some questions on this particular sheet that we would like for you to go ahead and look at and answer at, at that particular time as you're driving on up to the nature center itself. And so those that are gonna be coming into the park, please stop by the gatehouse, show your membership if you are a uh, member to the park. Also to please go ahead and uh, stop here. If you are a non-member, the cost to get into the park is $5 per vehicle. As you can see, we're at the nature center at, at this point. And at the nature center, we are only gonna allow a certain number of individuals in, into the nature center itself. And this will be allowed with an attendant at the front of the line, letting individuals into the nature center. The nature center, the upper level of our nature center will be the only uh, area that will be open. That is why we have a certain number of individuals that are allowed inside the nature center itself. And so as you can see behind me here, we do have some blue paw prints on the ground that will indicate where we would like the park guests to go ahead and stand, waiting patiently in line to uh, access the nature center. And once the uh, individuals come on out, then we will go ahead and allow for a few uh, individuals to come in. As you can see, we are inside of the Nature Center. And when you do enter the Nature Center, we do ask that if you could wear a mask or a face shield when you come in. Once you're inside this particular location, you can go ahead and purchase merchandise, or you can go ahead and purchase tickets for our barge ride, and also nature programs that we do have. So when you enter the Nature Center, there is a one flow pattern that will be set up here in the Nature Center. Individuals will enter the nature center itself, you have access to the registers here to make purchases. And then behind me, we do ask that individuals will go ahead and go around the gallery area in order to exit the nature center itself. Around the gallery area and at different parts throughout the upper level of the nature center, we do have hand sanitize, sanitization stations uh, so that you can grab some hand sanitizer if you need to. We are in the animal habitats and we do ask that as you are moving around the animal habitats, please keep in mind social distancing practices in the animal habitats itself. So some of the programs that we are going to be providing the public starting June 1st will be What Does the Fox Say? Turtle Talk, Snakes Alive. We will also be having our Wonders of Wolves and we will have barge rides available. Now all of those programs will have a limit on the number of individuals we can have at that particular program. Due to CDC regulations, the limit will be nine individuals. And so as you are making your way on through the animal habitats, again, we do uh, express please keeping in mind to social distance when possible along the animal habitats and trails. And when you also come into a program, uh, the programs will be held for the Snakes Alive and the Turtle Talk will be held at the amphitheater. The Fox program will be held here at the Fox Habitat. The Wolf program, again, over at the Wolf Habitat itself and the barge ride will take place at the barge itself. Please look for those blue paw prints throughout the uh, habitats to give you an idea where you can line up to get ready for those particular programs.